All right guys, so today we're gonna to put up the Milwaukee Brushless M18 hedge trimmers against my Echo HC-152s. Now to tell you a little bit of difference between these, these Milwaukee's are 24 inches long. This Echo is only 20 inches long. So it's already got four inches on it. So we're gonna compare this with Echo's gas powered, lowest grade, what I would consider probably a homeowner edition, but I've been using it for commercially for over two years, never had an issue out of it. So we're gonna see how this holds up to it. Now the battery life on this, Milwaukee says you can get up to two hours of run time. I have to admit, and the uh, trimming that I've been doing lately, I had a huge trimming job yesterday and I never had to worry about the battery when I was done. I still had uh, over a quarter of the battery life left. So it did a great job but I didn't use these. So today we're going to, uh, I've got a neighbor that's actually put his house up for sale so he's gonna be moving soon. So we're gonna go over there and we're gonna trim some hedges and see if he even notices us there for one. But uh, we're gonna go over there and trim some hedges and put these to the test guys. So. about gas but I hope this ain't too loud to where he's gonna hear me and come out here hedges like this the noise factor guys you're not aggravating the client inside their house you're not aggravating the neighbors any whatsoever this thing is quiet and it still does a great job so we're going to get the echo ones out the gas powered ones i really like them but uh we're going to show you the noise difference that these make
there you go. Both hedge trimmers. We're going to tell you more about them when we get back to my house. But right now we're going to pick this stuff up and we're going to get back to the house before he comes out. Suck. Hey! You gotta clean this up! Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Man, that company sucks. My final thoughts on this here. When it comes to it for me, they they you can tell over time this one's heavier. You really can. This to me feels lighter, even though it says it's a pound lighter. Um, it it really does feel lighter than that to me <clears throat> when it comes to power both of them do a great job both of them are very comfortable this handle is actually about the same as this one there's really not much difference but this part right here is way more comfortable than the echo one uh, another good thing i like about it is you ain't wasting all that gas and it ain't real loud so if they happen to be inside the house then you ain't got to worry about aggravating the client. You ain't got to worry about aggravating the neighbors by them hearing that loud sound. Uh, now, you know, I've got some clients that ain't home when I'm there anyway. Their neighbors probably ain't home, so it don't matter. But I'm going to tell you, uh, since I've got some extra batteries for this, just like the handheld blower that I've been using from Milwaukee, I absolutely love the thing. When it comes to doing the small property, the blowing off a driveway, blowing off a sidewalk, it works excellent for what I need it for. And all these batteries are compatible with each other. So I take one out of my handheld blower, I put it in my hedge trimmers, and boom. I start my hedge trimming. <clears throat> so when it comes to these, these things are real good. I really think they will do good for commercial uh, people as well, landscapers. Because, you know, you will use a lot of gas in one of these. And with one of these, you can use the battery for up to two hours. And you know, we did that whole thing over there and we've still got full battery life on this thing. So if that tells you anything, and that was full throttle the whole time over there using these. So it really does work great. Um, I really do like them and I, I got a feeling I'm gonna be using them a lot more. I have used them prior to this on about eight huge, huge bushes yesterday. And I absolutely love the thing. I didn't even take this one. Um, <clears throat> actually, I lie. I did take this one, but I didn't use it. This thing is all I used, and I only went through one battery, and I still had battery life left when I got done. So for anything I will ever need it for, for one day, this will take care of it. And I save on gas. I save on, you know, the heaviness, the lightness of this. Plus another good benefit that this is going to give you is four extra inches of cutting to where this one's only 20 inches of cutting. So guys, that's my final thoughts on this. What do you think? Comment down below and tell me what your thoughts are on it. Would you buy one of these? Do you think it's beneficial for what we do? Or would you rather have the gas powered? To me, it seems like the gas powered has a little bit faster cutting, but this still gets the job done. Fast don't always look nice. So, you know, that's my thoughts guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.